Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, Serana keeps reminding us we should go home. So we're going to. But, first things first, there is an issue that I have yet to remedy. A little thing. First, this is not the right place, but I want to double check if this is all searched up. It is. Okay, cool. Anyway about the keeper the northernmost keeper had a spell next to them in a little structure that i forgot to pick up and it would be the last conjure special uh the last conjure special anything really from this place the soul cairn and i want to pick that up before i go Anyway, the main issue is trying to find where the uh, keeper was. I don't think this was it. Yeah, there's a first keeper in the northernmost tower. And then there will be a small structure next to it that will look. A uh, habit. I, I'm still used to Fallout 4 controls still. Because I keep doing that. But, yeah. What I'm trying to do... While Serana's busy dealing with whatever the fuck's behind me, is try and find that. So I'm on the northernmost side. Should be fairly easy to eventually find it. Because right after I find the tower, I have to go north. Well, not north. Southwest from there to try and find the little thing. I think this is it. Oh, wow. That was loud and nasty. Okay, oops. Wrong button again. Yeah, this looks familiar. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I apparently missed that. Okay, good thing I saw that. Uh, yeah, this looks very familiar. So I think this is the one they were talking about. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm fairly certain of it. So, to go southwest from here, I assume, is right next to the barrier. Whoops, that's not correct. Why did I do that? Um, hmm. That's weird. I might have screwed this up. <laughs> Just a slight bit. You're supposedly next to the barrier, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> Ooh, that was loud. Anyway, if I can't find it within 10 minutes, then I'll just screw the whole thing. But I want to find it, so... Oh, yeah, I, I've seen this one before. Okay. Okay, get off of me. Thank you. And... Uh. I'm pretty sure this was the uh, tower. This is at least the tower they were talking about. Or something similar. Huh. It is also possible I read the instructions wrong. Well, you know, it wouldn't be the first time. Probably wouldn't be the last either. That's new. I don't remember that. Alright. Let's try something here. Hmm. I assume it would be a small structure like one of these. So I might as well check out every one of these nearby. Okay, this one didn't have it. And this one clearly doesn't. Okay. Well, this is not helping. <laughs> is it? Okay. It is possible I'm just also on the wrong side. So, there's that too. Oop, there I go again, hitting the wrong button, even though I was just pressing the right button five seconds ago. Oy vey. And get on the right side, I'd have to go through that little thing there. Whoa. Frame rate dropped there for five seconds. That was not good at all. 
Um, what is this? I don't remember this. Uh, better than nothing to try. Uh, yeah, I, oh, actually, I do remember this. This does look familiar. Good. Now we're getting familiar architecture, which means that my brain is remembering shit. Which is always nice to still do. From time to time. Lord knows it's difficult to do that on its own. Okay, this is not it. Nor is this. But this is the uh, divide I was talking about, so maybe it's on this side of it. The northernmost tower on this side. Then again, maybe not. Oh, I can harvest a soul fisher. There we go. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. We've dicked around in this place for far too long. And we still have many more places to go in this DLC. So, fuck it. I'll come back on my own time and do it then. Oh, uh, I just kicked around a sword a little bit. <laughs> it. Ah, there it is. There's the way up. Back into the uh, mortal foil. Oh, that's already been tapped. Okay, good. And here we start. Oh, if I can get on the right thing. There we go. Up we go. And there. Alright. Finally, solid ground and normalcy. <laughs> Took forever. Alright, let me just get a drink of my burners real quick. There we go. Good lord. All right. Completed beyond the death. All right. There should be a new quest starting soon. I think you have to talk to her next. Do you need something? Uh, does it bother you that we're working against your father? I can't say it surprises me. I kind of figured we were heading for this someday. Fair enough. I just didn't know when. We have to kill him? If. I've been assuming that's where all this is going. I've okay. been trying to make my peace with it. Come on. We can talk about this another time. Alright. Fair enough. Let's, uh, get on our way then. I guess that's not what we need to do. Seeking disclosure. Bring both Elder Scrolls to Dexian. Alright. It's nice to know. Oh, there's a bunch of soul gem fragments, but they won't do me any good, now will they? Alright, there we go. Bokahar Balcony. And that means we have to go all the way back to Fort Dawnguard. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's, I've been in the middle of a streak on Fallout 4, so my brain only remembers those locations and those locations only. Even though I've never been to Boston. Boston! Okay. Let's get us over here. There we go. Uh, there. Alright. I could have sworn we still had one more scroll to get, but I guess we got both of them. So we're good. Yeah, because I already had the uh, dragon one. That's right. And the only one I needed to get was from Valerica. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We are good. This guy's pretty. Look at him. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't say that with a straight face. Okay, let's get uh, get to Dexian here. Talk to him a little bit. Maybe he'll be able to decipher the scrolls. Huh? That'd be nice. Well, hopefully. <laughs> That's a key phrase there. And the music's not popped up once since we came out of the Soul Cairn. That's not good. Well, speaking of the devil, there it is. Ooh, burpee. Dexian! Hey, you are. I trust your journey was successful? Uh, yeah? I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. Oh. 
Why? <laughs> what happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. Oh. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. God damn it, Dexian. That covering on your eyes, are you? Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, oh, Dexian. Now we need to find another one. Ah, oh, jeez. Now I also have to feel bad because I made a man blind trying to do this shit. I mean, I'm gonna end up killing a vampire lord, so I guess that's always good, but jeez. None to help you? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Oh. So it's not permanent. Okay, then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Fair enough. Don't worry about that, just tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Okay. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Ritual of the Ancestor Moth. Re explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which mm. will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Okay. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Okay, that's good. Why didn't you do that? Carefully gather the bark how? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Okay. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. I will, if I can do it at all. Uh, do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay. So, read that, and then the other two? Okay. So what went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. Mm -hmm. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. All right. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Gotcha. Uh, is it normal for you guys to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. Huh. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Gotcha. Uh, we already went through of, what went wrong. So this... Or even years to complete a single scroll. Yeah. Well, just and even then. How's a moth to related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. Yeah. The voice of the ancestor moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. Ah. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's right. through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. Fair enough. How does that help the Moth Priest? By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the Conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only ah. the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Okay. Because of this, okay. I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. 
Only one way to find out. Fair enough. All right, we'll do it. Screw it. Why not? I hope you find the answers you seek. You'll Me too. Ancestor Glade soon. We just learned about it, woman. Jesus, calm yourself. <laughs> Immediately after I'm done talking to him. I hope we reach it soon. We just learned it existed. <sighs> gotta love those kinds of people, you know? Just gotta love them. Constantly asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed just at myself mentioning these people. Okay. Ancestor Glade. I don't have no idea where it is. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. That's a place. Although, I believe I'm also a little bit dealing with weight. Not really? Okay, well, fuck it. <laughs> 378 out of 500. That's not bad. We will consider that golden. Uh, should I do it from home or should I do it from here? It, it's probably be faster and more of a straight line from there. So let's do that. That is all the way across the map and I am not doing that on foot. <laughs> no way. There we go. And that just increases the chance of some little bug making me go and crashing my Xbox. Making me cry. <laughs> you know, the usual shit. Okay. And it was this direction, I think. It, it would help if I actually had it marked off on the map. Now, wouldn't it? Uh... Unseen visions. Ah, there it is. Okay. We have a vector in which we must travel. Sally forth! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Let us go onward. And what is this tower? I don't think I've ever been near this tower. What the? Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Have fun with that. Have fun with that, considering most of your order is dead as dicks. Just, you know, have fun. Uh, oh, this, I know this place. I don't want to deal with them yet. Or at all, really. Because I don't like uh, dealing with them on the uh, issue that they are, you know, peaceful, usually, unless you come up to them. And the pathway I thought would be quickest is actually not useful at all. So, yeah. You have to find a way to do it. Hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe start from Ancient's Ascent. Maybe. That'll probably work better, actually, now that I think about it. Considering, from the look of it, it's already up the mountain. And I'd rather not sit there and subject you guys to me trying to do the whole glitching it out thing. Alright. There we go. Where, where's the thing? Marker's not... Oh! Uh, I assume that's the direction. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. Please don't tell me there's a dragon that respawn. Yeah, there's a dragon that respawn. So I gotta be careful not to trigger that motherfucker. Because nothing will probably come of that fight. At all. I'm not. Now I'm gonna glitch it out for this little bit. Because it'll... Be helpful. There we go. Alright, well, we still have a little ways to travel, so. Oh, okay, that didn't work at all. The button is being very finicky with me. Okay, down we go. Alright. Alright, this should do it. 
All right. Yeah, we just head across here, and I'm pretty sure that'll help us make it. All right. Whoop. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> that almost threw me uh, for a loop. Aha! There we are. I have no idea how we would have reached this normally, but I think we made it. More or less. There it is. Down this direction. Okay. Oh, I probably could have gone this way. Uh, although the first few markers over here have a, nothing to do with anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, maybe it was a straight line. It's my bad. Okay. Let's just get into here. Because fuck it. Ancestor Glade. In we go. Great sword swings faster than a battle axe, and a battle axe swings faster than a warhammer. Yes, we're all aware of this at this point. Mainly because a lot of the weight in the warhammer is in the head, and the sword has it pretty much down at the pommel. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I'd assume so. Alright, let's... A little bit, and... Oh. Not right now, no. Uh, does that include biting? It gets... I want to watch. <laughs> no, I don't. What am I talking about? Um... Oh, I have to go that way. So, I'd have to go up this way. Oops. And go across this way. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. Alright. And I think... We are getting club. Oh. Oh. Any smart words to say now, Serana? Ah. Eh? Ah. Eh? Anything smart to say? Ah. Eh? But thou. Huh? Ah. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we found where we're supposed to be. Now we're going to figure out how to do it in the next episode. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.